Hello, I just got access. My ex-wife had some of my old family photos in a suitcase. Actually, the suitcase was my grandfather used to be a, uh, he made suitcases and uh, things by hand. He had a, a shop in Kansas City, Missouri, Howard something, because I remember even years after it was on a brick wall, a big sign up there, but he'd been out of business for years and years. But anyway, this was all these pictures were in that suitcase, and uh, she ended up having it in her out on her patio here uh, in a little room, a storage room out there. And I finally got got her to I got my son to. Uh, get in there and get those that suitcase out for me get those and, and I got the pictures now so I just started going through them and I, I figured they would be ruined they apparently appear to be in, but uh, there's a photograph from July 1941 and uh, the gentleman who is holding the baby is my grandfather James Joseph Howard senior Standing next to him with the white shirt on is my father, James Joseph Howard, Jr. Yes, and of course the baby is me, James Joseph Howard III. And it was taken in Kansas City, Missouri, 3324 Euclid. My father's you know, mother, well, my grandfather, this is 1941, he died, I think, in 1942. Uh, his wife, my grandmother, my father's mother, she lived there almost all of her life at that location. So, uh, my father and his six brothers and his three sisters, they all went to St. Vincent's grade school and graduated. I also ended up going to St. Vincent's grade school and graduating. And in the suitcase is my St. Vincent's diploma for graduation from grade school. And the signature of the pastor there, I'm trying to see it, there is Oscar L. Huber. Does anybody know who Father Oscar L. Huber is or was? When John F. Kennedy was, went to Dallas and when he was shot in the motorcade and taken to Park Lane Hospital, the news media in the entire United States and the entire world was wondering, you know, how bad is it? Uh, what's the condition of John F. Kennedy? And a priest, Oscar L. Huber, Father Oscar L. Huber, came out and the news media started asking him, you know, and he said he had just given the last rites to John F. Kennedy. And they asked, you know, how is the president? And uh, he said, he died. He's dead. And then the word went out. You know, Catholic priest has just announced that John F. Kennedy passed away. So, uh, Father Huber was pastor when I graduated from St. Vincent's. I don't know what he was doing in Dallas uh, later on. But this is my father's graduation picture from St. Vincent's. My father was, is on the end right here. That's him. And up here is Oscar L. Huber. He was in the class with, with my uh, father. And in fact, my father and him, my father here, went to the seminary with him. They both went to the seminary, but my father left the seminary, he didn't stay. Also, um, anybody know Kansas City, Missouri history about the Pendergast uh, who ran Kansas City? He was a city boss or whatever. Uh, I wondered about this. I've seen this before and wondered in the past. In this class is a Robert Pendergast. Anybody know? And then also, if there's anybody who's literary, well, I mean, anybody, if there's anybody who knows Chicago, 
or somebody in the newspaper business. I didn't pay any attention when my parents were alive. My father talked all the time about uh, he went to school. There's two in this picture. There's two dailies: Frank Daly and uh, uh, Bernard Daly. And I think it was Frank Daly. But my father would be reading the newspaper uh, quite often, and uh, Daly apparently, and I think it was Frank Daly was a columnist, and I believe it was out of Chicago, and apparently very well known and apparently a good columnist. And my father would, you know, be mentioning, oh, Frank wrote, you know, this or that. And so I never paid any attention. Now both my parents have passed away, and I'm uh, curious if anybody perhaps knows anything about uh, Frank Daly. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.